Hi guys, it's me Inyat. So for today's topic, I will be tackling about audio visual media module 2 lesson 3. Audio visual materials are the most complete resources for teachers due to their availability and versatility. And also, it is particularly important in educational environments with university and school libraries generally holding strong audiovisual collections. Based on the pictures below, audiovisual materials is available to open the web. Although, much material has been placed on the web without the copyright, owner's permission and users to have be cautious about downloading and using a material, and particularly about passing audiovisual materials on third parties, such as Students in a class. Definition of concepts. Audio materials. Tools to convey information through sound. As what you can see there in the given example, there is a headset and a microphone in where teacher or students can use those materials in order to discuss information to the class. Visual materials. Tools to convey information through sight. Visual resources include photograph, film, video, paintings, drawings, cartoons, prints, designs, and three-dimensional art such as sculpture and architecture and can be categorized as fine art or documentary record. Some visual resources are one of a kind while others are reproduced like prints or illustrations in books and magazines. The pictures below show that they use visual aid and chart. Audiovisual materials, a combination of both sight and sound to convey information. It is also an instruction where particular attention is paid to the audio and visual presentation of the material with the goal of improving comprehension and retention. Audiovisual materials are training or educational materials directed at both the senses of hearing and the sense of sight. Audio refers to sound produced by a computer or any device able to play it. The first picture is a lady recording something to produce a discussion. The second picture is a student that is listening to the topic while taking down notes. Video, electronic medium for recording, copying, and broadcasting of moving visual images, in where the pictures below show that they are recording a video to produce information for the other people. Functions of audiovisual materials. So first is teaching music literature, science, and documentation activities. Second, teaching language and other content areas. Third, to foster oral communication. The first picture shows that the teacher is teaching science, and the second picture shows that the teacher is teaching her students a sign language. And the third picture shows that the student is explaining the topic in front of the class. Fourth, to motivate interpretation. Fifth, to make use of sketches and broadcast. The fourth picture is where the speaker motivates the listener. And the last one is the lady there in a studio where she is preparing for broadcasting something. Types of audiovisual materials Audio Recordings This may come in cassettes or CDs. And these are the examples of cassette and CD. Radio broadcast Transmission of radio programs can be live or tape. Visual media Bulletin boards A form to display information on a board. These are the examples of bulletin boards in school. 
posters, a form of displaying information using text and pictures. Audiovisual media, motion picture videos, videos of sound mixed with motion images. Films, a large sequences of animated scenes and sounds. Guidelines for audiovisual materials in learning and teaching. First, images should be as small as possible. Second, always provide alternative content. Third, check copyright. Fourth, use MP4 format a size of 640 by 400 and a speed of 500 kbps. Fifth, provide transcripts for audio and video files. Sixth, save audio files in mono format. Uses of audiovisual materials. So first, is stimulate interest and emphasize. Second, promote efficiency. Third, clarify subject matter topics. The picture shows that the teachers catch the attention of the students and they put emphasis to the topic that they discuss. And they also clarify the topic. Advantages of using audio visuals in teaching. First, it provides diverse teaching techniques for learning. Second, simplify and clarify complex topics. Third, allow students to learn at their pace. Fourth, can be reused. Fifth, reduce the quantity of asked questions. Disadvantages of using audiovisuals in teaching. First, it requires the correct use. Second, not all concepts can be taught. Third, should include only images and fit for words. Fourth, might not guarantee learning. As what you can see there in the picture, the students are confused upon understanding the topic. Fifth, to prepare it, good pronunciation is needed. Sixth, can be difficult to understand for children. Seven, a good internet speed is required. Eight, the proper equipment is needed. As what you can see there in the pictures below, there is a child that is listening to the discussion of her teacher, but come to think of it, do you think the child really adapt or really understand the topic that has been discussed? Even the adults can. Even me. How much more the child? The second picture is a good internet connection is needed. A good internet connection is required because if you have a bad internet connection, there is a possibility that the student will left behind in the class, or the teacher may miss a discussion to be discussed towards the class. The third one is you also have a proper equipment for you to access easily the sites and to pass the output that has been needed. Ways to use audio to support learning. First, unit podcast example weekly updates of teaching material and current situation second live online discussion between two or more people third interviews with subject matter experts this can be used as core or support for lessons fourth student generated recordings used as part of the learner activity to record evidence Fifth, recordings of public lectures. Those can be repurposed and used of different contexts and subjects. Six, to demonstrate experiments example. Sodium solution plus the periodic table. 
7. To exemplify abstract concepts, what's inside a flame? 8. To illustrate 3D models. 9. To demonstrate time passage example. Awesome HD slinky slow-mo. 10. To demonstrate decision-making processes. Example, conflicts in the workplace. Sources and solutions. 11. To summarize. 12. To illustrate performances and music. 13. To show practical activities. Example, melting metal. So there are three steps in producing audio visuals. So the first one is planning. Planning is the process of thinking about the activities required to achieve the desired goal. It is the first and foremost activity to achieve undesired results. It involves the creation and maintenance of a plan, such as psychological aspects that requires conceptual skills. This part is the most critical aspect of producing. It requires a purpose why, brainstorming how, and the preparation. The second one is the production. The shooting or recording stage is what the most consider the production phase of an audio or video project. So, production is the process of combining various materials, inputs, and immaterial inputs, plans, and know-how in order to make something for consumption that is output. This is the act of creating output. A good or service that has value and contributes to the utility of individuals. The third or the last one is the publishing. The publishing phase is the final part of producing audio or video for educational purposes and often referred to as. Programs to create, edit, and publish videos. Eight. First, audacity to record and arrange videos. The first picture is the example of audacity. Second, garage band to record and edit sounds. The second picture is the example of garage band. Third, windows media to record and edit video. The third picture is the example of windows media. To edit, first one is Windows Movie Maker, free use to edit. The first picture is the example of Windows Movie Maker. Second, Virtual DJ, free use to edit sounds and videos. The second picture is the example of the Virtual DJ. The third, Quick Time Pro, video editing software. The third picture is the example of the third Quick Time Pro. So the last part is to publish, or also called the final part. Use the web accessing to YouTube, Vimeo, or SlideShare, and these sites also where you can upload your videos. So that's it. Hope you learned something. Don't forget to comment, like, Share and subscribe and click the notification bell for more updates and for more upcoming videos. Bye-bye!